This floating material is lithium, which you can easily cut with any kitchen knife. But what makes lithium the most useful element of the current technological age is its high energy density. Yes, lithium can comparatively store a significant amount of energy, which allows us to develop lithium-ion batteries capable of storing energy for our electronic devices for days. But this is not the only reason behind developing lithium-ion batteries. Comparatively, another element called beryllium has a higher energy density than lithium. However, it is significantly less abundant in the Earth's crust. So, the availability of lithium makes it a more favorable element for making batteries. Interestingly, the extraction of lithium is also not as simple as the extraction of other ores. The most common method is lithium brine extraction. A brine deposit is nothing but concentrated salt water found underground, typically seven times saltier than normal fresh water. Chile and Argentina are rich in these brine deposits. To extract lithium, the brine is first pumped out from several hundred meters below the surface. Then, for weeks, it is left on the surface in the form of ponds. Due to exposure to heat and wind, the water in the ponds eventually evaporates, leaving behind a concentrated solution of lithium along with other salts and minerals. During the evaporation process, a mixture of hydrated lime is introduced to the brine to induce the precipitation of undesirable elements notably magnesium and boron forming compounds, such as magnesium hydroxide and calcium boron salts. This concentrated brine is then further processed to remove impurities, such as magnesium and calcium, through methods like precipitation or ion exchange. Next, the purified brine undergoes electrolysis, where an electric current is passed through it to separate the lithium ions from the remaining solution. The lithium ions are then collected and processed into various lithium compounds, such as lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide, which are used in the manufacturing of batteries and other products. This process is favored for its lower environmental impact and cost compared to traditional mining methods. Aside from the brine, lithium can also be found in the Earth's crust in the form of a rock known as spodumene, to obtain and separate this lithium-rich ore from the surrounding rock, explosives and machines are employed. It is then ground into powder form. Next, lithium is roasted in a large kiln at a temperature above 1000 degrees Celsius. At this high temperature, spodumene undergoes a process called calcination, wherein it loses its water content and other volatile components, leaving behind a more concentrated form of lithium. After that, the yield is further processed in another kiln at 250 degrees, which forms an impure lithium sulfate solution. Next, this lithium sulfate solution is leached in water and filtered to produce aluminosilicate. Finally, this solution is treated in a reactor vessel, where an electrochemical reaction is used to transform it into a concentrated lithium hydroxide solution. Then, it will be cooled for a while to prepare for drying and packaging. The end result is LiOH, a powder or pellet that is used, among other things, in batteries and ceramics. According to some estimates, the world produces 85,000 to 100,000 metric tons of lithium annually, and most of it comes from Australia, Chile and China. Some reports say that 74% of the total lithium is used in the production of batteries. Today, almost every other electronic device comes standard with a lithium battery, but the batteries used in vehicles has significantly increased the demand for batteries. BMW, being one of the largest producers of EVs, has its own facility where the company produces batteries. The process starts with mixing various active materials, including pure lithium, with solvents and binders. The resultant mixture of these active materials is known as slurry. Next, the slurry is continuously applied to a sheet of wafer-thin carrier foil composed of copper for the anode and aluminum for the cathode. After that, the sheet with slurry goes through a 25-meter long drying section. By removing any extra moisture, this procedure helps keep the electrodes from deteriorating or becoming contaminated. The roll is divided into six strips and coiled up to make the jelly roll once the coatings are dry. More surface area in this design allows for improved electrical conductivity and storage capacity. 
After that, the jelly roll is put together inside the cell housing and the arrow foils are smoothed out and put inside. This process makes the final products easy to handle and carry while also improving their overall durability. Ultimately, before being released onto the market, the cells are moved into the formation, loaded for the first time, and their quality is examined. Batteries in electric vehicles are installed in the form of power packs. These power packs consist of some individual batteries. Technicians carefully inspect each cell for defects or damage before testing its capacity and discharge rate. Batteries that are discovered to be subpar or defective are taken off the assembly line and replaced with brand new ones. After unpacked cells are inspected, they undergo plasma cleaning to remove impurities from electrode surfaces before assembly. This involves exposing electrodes to a high-energy plasma composed of free electrons and ionized atoms, effectively removing harmful substances like organic compounds and metal oxides. Then, multiple cells are stacked together to form a larger battery pack. Cell stacking is crucial for achieving maximum performance without significantly increasing the size or weight of the battery pack. In power pack production, part placement optimizes internal geometry to minimize resistance and short circuits. Components like electrodes and separators are strategically positioned to ensure harmony and address factors such as heat dissipation and electrical conductivity. Next, the stacked cells joined together to form a module. A module works as a single unit with specific voltage output due to series and parallel configuration cells. In order to ensure each module remains intact, these are welded to create a robust, lightweight architecture. The quality of the welded joint is also checked to ensure reliable electrical connections and structural integrity. Then, a cell contacting system is installed on a module to establish an electronic connection between individual cells within a module. This contracting system is also covered with a cover for each module to prevent contamination. Next, multiple modules, each containing several individual cells, are carefully placed, mounted, and interconnected in a battery housing. These battery housings are built according to the structure of the specific vehicle. Lastly, a printed circuit board, PCB, is installed in a controlled environment before moving the battery pack to the final product testing stages. Once all the experts and technicians have ensured that the EV battery is good to go and ready to use, they will start fitting it with their unit. Electric drive is known as the heart of the EVs. The manufacturing process of an e-drive involves a sophisticated blend of cutting-edge technology and precise engineering techniques. Initially, specialized components such as electric motors, power electronics, and battery systems are meticulously crafted to meet tough performance standards. These components are then assembled into the e-drive unit with each step of the process adhering to tough quality control measures to ensure reliability and efficiency. Advanced automation and robotics play a pivotal role in streamlining production, enhancing precision and minimizing errors. From research and development to assembly and testing, the manufacturing of e-drives represents a convergence of innovation, sustainability, and uncompromising quality. One of the astonishing features of the e-drive technology is regenerative braking. Here, Nissan showed how their e-drive saves energy and reuses it to increase efficiency and increase vehicle range. The electric drives operate as motors when the car needs acceleration. It takes electric power from a power pack and converts it into mechanical power. But when the driver tries to decelerate the car to stop it, then the electric drive functions as an electric generator. It reverses direction and transforms kinetic energy into electrical energy when the driver lets go of the accelerator pedal or applies the brake. This recharges the battery and increases fuel efficiency overall. This function allows drivers to recover energy wasted during deceleration while simultaneously lessening the strain on the brakes. Today, many technologies exist that can help experts to shape their car, but many companies such as Mercedes-Benz, which is known for its stylish cars, still relies on model sculpting. 
This method allows designers to create unique and visually captivating vehicles that stand out in a competitive market, fostering brand identity and consumer appeal. Through sculpting, designers can mold aerodynamic shapes that enhance fuel efficiency and optimize performance, crucial in an era of sustainability and environmental consciousness. Moreover, this hands-on approach facilitates the exploration of innovative design concepts, pushing the boundaries of automotive aesthetics while ensuring practicality and functionality. At 12 production facilities across the globe, BMW manufactures more than 50 models. Cutting-edge technologies and creative manufacturing techniques are employed to build high-quality automobiles that satisfy consumer needs while having the least negative environmental impact. Let us take a look at the process that they have. Thanks to the continuous growth and advancement in the field of technology, the BMW production system has been able to digitize a lot of its processes too. You can only imagine how much data goes into making just a single unit of their cars. From the stage of car production up to the finalization, all of that is enhanced with digitalization. In fact, even their press shops are very high tech. Let's take this BMW X1 for example. Making this car would require several kilometers of steel just to form its body. Plus, it also needs a variety of thickness and types of steel that manual labor cannot handle properly. This is where their digitized process comes in. Each piece, or they often call as blank, is entered onto this facility. Then, they are scanned and laser marked with data transmitted to the press. Following their individual formation, these components are sent to the body shop where they are painstakingly put together to make the car body, much like a jigsaw puzzle. Inside the body shop where everything is put together, digitalization is also very evident. The BMW production chain is complete with predictive maintenance that patches up everything and makes sure that the operation of different systems and robots inside the body shop is seamless and reliable. But how do they do this? First of all, they have very smart sensors that are programmed to keep watch of components like electric drives for lifts and turntables. Up to 2,000 robots work with exacting precision in the welding and bonding sector alone. Perfect synchronization and performance are ensured by sensors that continuously check their brakes, gears, and essential pieces of equipment, such as welding guns and heads. Thanks to all these sensors, robots, and data, their technicians are constantly made aware of the conditions of the units they are building. This means that they are informed about potential issues as soon as possible, so that major negative effects can be avoided. This helps them prevent costly downtime and disruptive repairs, as well as enhances their overall production flow. Sensors are essential for maintaining quality control in the paint shop at BMW, in addition to monitoring the welding process. These sensors gather data continually at every stage of production, enabling personnel to pinpoint areas in need of development in order to attain the best possible outcomes. BMW's sophisticated testing system makes it possible to precisely analyze every painted body, guaranteeing that it meets the exacting standards demanded by their discriminating clientele and is visually flawless. BMW's robots examine each car's paint job using cutting-edge computer vision technology. They have cameras that take in-depth pictures of the car's exterior. Those pictures are processed by advanced algorithms to find any flaws or variations from the intended color and texture. In order to replicate real-world situations, the robots can also replicate diverse lighting circumstances. This feature enables them to evaluate the paint finish in a variety of settings and guarantee that it satisfies the highest standards of quality. The whole production of BMW cars work in systems. This means that the parts created in point A need to be transferred to point B and so on until it reaches completion. Now, the question you might have is how do they do this? Well, they use the hanger system. Just imagine an assembly line, it has a conveyor belt that keeps the systems going. Without it, the whole production line will be in shambles. This is what the hanger system is to the BMW production line. These hanger systems are kept together by a vast network of sensors, constantly monitoring the system's every heartbeat. 
Placed like watchful sentinels, these sensor kits broadcast data in real time to the BMW Internet of Things IoT platform. The information is shown and analyzed by this computer brain, which looks for any irregularities that could throw off the delicate manufacturing ballet. The platform warns workers of any problems before they become serious, much like an expert conductor might. With this real-time information at hand, the team is able to decide with knowledge. Before a small problem turns into a large outage, should they remove a particular hanger for maintenance? Year after year, they guarantee the assembly line's dependable and long-term functioning by taking preventive measures. This complex interaction between sensors, data, and human knowledge is a prime example of how digitization has revolutionized BMW manufacturing. Technology has been carefully calibrated to produce the outstanding quality and performance that are associated with the BMW brand while also keeping the assembly line running smoothly. On the assembly line, various components of the vehicles are assembled into the vehicle body. In this process, robots and people work side by side. They can build a car flawlessly thanks to the tag and code system which prevents them from mixing up components from different models. The whole assembly line is controlled by a computer system that keeps an eye on each activity and each part of the vehicle. By using sensors, it tracks various parts of the vehicle and guides robots and workers in real time to prevent any human error. For instance, if a worker picks the wrong bolt, the system will immediately alert him. Usually the assembly of an EV starts with the installation of the powertrain. The powertrain of an EV includes a power pack, inverters, electric drives, and transmission system. After that, the interior of the vehicle is designed by installing seats, steering, and other components. The branding of the car is also part of the assembly line, but no car is left without testing. This may include charging, steering, and speed tests. Now, as this is the age of self-driving electric vehicles, car companies like BMW do various self-driving tests on these cars. In these tests, the functioning and responsiveness of the various sensors and systems are tested to ensure the safety of the end users. Thanks for joining us on this electrifying journey into the world of EV manufacturing. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights and updates on the future of sustainable mobility. Until next time, keep driving innovation and embracing the electric revolution.